Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into the video. Just a reminder that we're doing a fundraiser for Animal Sanctuaries by selling uh, Joey Carbstrong apparel. 100% of the profits will be donated to animals. So if you'd like to get your Joey Carbstrong uh, t-shirt or hoodie, please follow the link to the Shopify store down below. Enjoy the video. All right, here we are with the Sydney crew. We got Andy and Muffin over here. We got animal rights activism Sydney behind us showing the current Australian hell holes that uh, people eat out of. We're going to go educate the public and hopefully, you know, let them take resp responsibility for their contribution to this animal holocaust and get them to change. Let's see the egg industry at the top here. They're de-beaking them, so they're cutting their, their beaks off with a hot iron so they don't peck each other in the shed. This is a free range egg facility at the top. Yeah, this is what they tell people is free range. Um, all the animals are slaughtered in the egg industry. Okay, the male chicks are blended up alive on their first day of life because male chicks won't produce eggs. Only the females produce eggs. And they're put in these places. They tell you it's free range, which is, that doesn't look very free range to me. Um, when they don't produce eggs anymore, they get their heads cut off and turned into meat. So the egg industry and the dairy industry slaughter all the animals in a slaughterhouse. So we're here to show the to show you guys yeah. what the result of your choices are when you buy meat, dairy and eggs. Okay? We want to hold the public responsible. So are you Chinese? Oh, Korean. Well, this is in Chinese. I don't know. If, but we have English here too. So these are some places that you can eat that don't sell the tortured bodies of animals. Um, this is some information. This is a documentaries here. But if you're not a vegan, what you're doing is you're paying for animals to be stabbed to death and exploited and killed. Okay. So when you go vegan, it's the best thing you can do to avoid that. It's the only thing you can do to avoid it. Yeah. If this makes you feel uncomfortable or bad, this is pig farming in Australia. Those sheds are disgusting. I've been in there. And they lie to you. They'll lie to you, say, oh, this is all humane. And... But we, we, we won't lie to you. We're not here to sell you anything. I don't want your money. They want your money. Yeah. yeah. They want to sell you a product, so what do they do? They advertise to you. Humane, this is, this is okay. We need protein. Lies. It's all lies. They're selling you tortured animals, and you're paying for it. Thank you for this play. Thank you for this play. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. So, you don't, you don't like animal abuse, torture? I can tell. You, you hate animal cruelty. Yeah. So, you, the best, only thing you can do uh -huh. is stop vegan. being cruel to animals and be a vegan. Be vegan. Every day that you're not a vegan, yeah. you're torturing animals. Yeah. This is a gas chamber. This bottom one, a gas chamber. This is how they kill pigs, six months old. Yeah. RSPCA, they used to call that humane until there was cameras that were left in there by activists. Activists left cameras and now we know it's torture. These are secret cameras. Yeah. Yeah. This is what they don't show you. They don't show you this on TV, do they? We will, we'll show you. Because we care about these animals and the industry will pretend to care about animals. They don't care, they care about money. Your money. Yeah. So what they do is they trick you into doing something that you're against, which is animal cruelty. They trick you into being cruel to animals. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Yeah. See this tattoo? I'm proud to be vegan. I'm proud to be. I'm not ashamed to be vegan. I'm proud. I'm ashamed of what humans do to animals and what I used to pay for. That's what I'm ashamed of. When you leave here today, you have a choice to make. You can either choose to be cruel to animals and be an animal abuser, or you can choose to be a vegan and do your best. Yeah. Being vegan is doing your best, not vegetarian, because dairy and eggs are evil. Yeah. Um, not reducing, because I would never ask you to reduce something that's evil. Yeah. Being vegan is the best thing you can do and the only thing you can do. I think so. Okay? No worries, guys. Peace. My 
um, approach, coupled with what they were seeing on the screen, gave them a reality check they've never had before. And I've got confidence that they will make a change. I don't know how they will. I told them not to reduce. I told them we don't advocate for vegetarianism. I told them being vegan is the only thing you can do. Um, they understood it. There's not much more I could say. They see the abuse and torture right there in front of them. Um, I think that that was an effective outreach conversation with people who were open with it. They were definitely open and uh, that's it. That's how they treat animals so we can take the milk that was meant for them. Yeah, so, so this is a, called a downer. When the female milk producer won't produce milk anymore, they slaughter them. So after about four or five, six years, so they impregnate them first, forcibly impregnate them. And when they have their calf, they take the calves away so the calves don't drink the milk. So then they, we need that milk. Well, I don't drink it, but human beings, they steal it. And then they, this is a slaughterhouse for, for dairy, uh, dairy cows. Sometimes stunning is ineffective because they have a very thick skull, you know. Here's some information, oh sorry. Here you can take this, this has just got some places to eat. Yeah, we're vegan because we don't want to abuse animals. So it's either you go vegan or you're paying for animals to be abused. Without your money, this doesn't happen. She was really affected. Well, this is, we're just showing people where their food comes from. Oh, okay. These animals that are tortured and killed for meat, dairy and eggs. It's yeah. a free range facility here that they separate the males from the females and then drop them into a, a giant blender. So the males won't produce eggs, so they just destroy yeah. them. Dairy farming, um, chicken farming, and there's fishing industry. See up the top there? See what they're doing to that infant calf? He's stunning him with those prongs. And then they're going to cut their heads off. The boys in the dairy industry don't produce any milk, so they just treat them like garbage and cut their heads off. So when you pay for animal products or when you consume animal yeah. products, you're you're abusing animals. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I actually focus a lot of that too as well. And like when I buy eggs, it's like uh, what, like ecologic and yeah, I do all that kind of stuff to prevent that. Because I think it's free range and organic egg industry here do the same thing. Those calves, they could come from a free range grass fed for, uh, farm as well and they still have their head cut off. This doesn't predict it. Buying animal products, yeah. animals always be exploited and killed for it. You yeah. can't avoid that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, th I think it's a bit different than Denmark because we actually have like proper... Well, no, yeah, we, we do actually. No, they don't. Well, how do they, they've got slaughterhouses just like here in Australia. Yeah, well, not in the same way. In, in Denmark, like, as a, as a nation, we focus a lot on preventing these things. So, like, the government steps in and pays a lot of fines and a lot of stuff. You can't buy uh, chopped up animals in the supermarket there? Yeah, you can. That's preventing nothing. Yeah, well, it, I think they're doing it in a different way. How do you cut someone's head off and chop them up into pieces in a different way? Well, the, the way you make it sound is... Uh, like, exactly how it is. I don't. I don't lie to you. Yeah. I don't. I don't I, I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. I the get... industry lie to you. They say humane this, better ways this. Yeah. It's all lies. Yeah. So what? What? Why? Why are they like taking? Uh, why, why are they having these points? They're saying that people are blind. Like okay. you are yeah. blind to what happens in a slaughterhouse because you think it's humane. And you're, yeah. I've been in, doing this for six years, and I know you haven't seen what happens in the slaughterhouses yeah. in Denmark. Yeah. Have you seen inside a slaughterhouse in Denmark? Then how do you know? Yeah, that's true. So you're telling me they're okay? You don't know. You're listening to propaganda from the industry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, actually. You should look into it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you got me thinking a lot about that now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just like I looked into it and I was disgusted with myself. I felt like an animal abusing hypocrite and I yeah. changed. Yeah. Because no, you don't want to abuse animals. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. But you are when you buy animal products. There's yeah. nowhere, like, you're yeah. paying for these places. And when you look in the supermarket and you see a chopped up body part of an animal, that came from an animal who didn't want to die. Yeah. Okay. They're forced into life by farmers and then cut up yeah. into pieces so you can eat them. Yeah. yeah. So. How long are you here in Australia for? I actually fly home today. So, you do? Yeah. Okay. There's great animal rights activists in Denmark. There's, a, there's probably a lot of footage from Denmark yeah. farms as well. Yeah. Um, but you can be the first to look into it over there if there's not. Yeah, I will. Find out what's going on there. Yeah. Anyway, well, if you still, if you go out for lunch or... Yeah. 
some good vegan places yeah, I, in Sydney. I actually love vegetarian food. I love it. Like it's great. Vegetarians still support eggs and dairy, so we promote veganism. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They still abuse animals yeah. and kill animals, so we don't promote vegetarianism yeah. or reducing. Yeah. We don't ask you to reduce something that's evil. We want you to stop doing something yeah. that's evil. Yeah. So, anyway, there's this film here. This is Dominion, focused mainly on Australia. Australia's got pretty high welfare standards for the world, yeah. as the world's considered. Um, so, really, yeah. the, 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 the practices don't vary too much from yeah. country to country. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for the time. I gotta get going. Yeah, that's all right. Just take oh, this as a bit of info thank on you, there. Thank you. Have a good Remember, day. Remember, yeah. uh, you're either a vegan or you're abusing animals through your lifestyle. Yeah. It's time to change. Yeah. All right, brother? Great. Have a good day. He was telling me about the industry in Denmark. He'd never been in a slaughterhouse over there or seen inside a slaughterhouse over there. This is like, he heard that story from somewhere. But the thing is, where's his evidence of these happy, humane slaughterhouses where animals just fall asleep and wake up chopped up into pieces? They don't exist. Right? So, hopefully he's going to look into it. He's just like, wow, actually, how do I know? You don't know. So, people are kept in the dark for a reason. Hey, buddy. Have you seen this before, mate? Oh, uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. It's pretty unbelievable, or? Nah. Yeah, so activists go in and leave uh, hidden cameras inside uh, facilities all across Australia. The industry won't tell the public what's going on. They're trying to sell the pu public a product. We're not here to sell you anything. We're here because we care about what's right. Um, you know, free range egg facilities, killing all the male chicks because they don't produce eggs, chucking them in a blender fully conscious, separating calves from mothers, you know, killing bobby calves, uh, cutting infant animals' heads off that are just like dogs, you know? Yeah, yeah I get it. I know, I mean, I know. I don't know, but I'm not surprised. We, we're talking to the public. Like, you might think, like, why are, you, why are we talking to you about it? Well, because... It's good. It's awareness. Public are paying for this to happen like I used to, basically. So that's why we're all vegan. We don't pay for it. And we hope that the public are also against animal abuse themselves and won't pay for this to happen. I suppose we don't all have to become vegan. Uh, it's a matter of putting more light on this and probably regulation or awareness Both. to start with. I like my meat. Yeah. Do you like your meat more than those animals like their lives? But the thing is, it doesn't have to happen like that, right? That's the main thing. Well, well, Australia's got one of the highest welfare standards on earth, okay? And so, yet, this happens. Exactly. And I wouldn't say like, you know what, it's probably better like in South America, for example. I don't know. It's not because we're Australia and look at us around with all this money and buildings, but this is a culture. This is, you know, and also governments. Like, I spend quite a bit of time in South America, they probably respect the animals a lot more. I don't know, they, if you're cutting an animal's head off... love their meat. Oh yeah, but that's a different story. Yeah, so when you cut an animal's head off, you're treating them like nothing. You're treating them like yeah, yeah, they don't deserve life. But it's, it's a different conversation. Like, we're talking about inhumane way of killing animals, or killing animals... No, you know, to, so to, I'm to talking feed. about... I'm talking about using animals for their bodies when we... Food. We don't, well, we don't need to. Yeah, so we, we're vegan. I've been a vegan for six years. This is what I mean. It's, no, I unju it, it's unjustified murder of animals. Because like, you like your meat. It's a different conversation, I think. This is, a bit, this is you, why we're here. What you're trying to, well. This is why the, we're here. In this case, you should say, don't eat meat, full stop. You don't have to show those videos. You know, it's I'm, not, I'm interested because this is not right. And I'm happy exactly. to try and change this. Exactly. But I'm still going to eat meat. Like, that's what human have been doing. You can't have one or the other. You either eat meat and uh, kill animals, think, or you... Yeah, but you, there are ways to kill animals in a human way. How do you kill someone in a humane way? Do you without, know what... Without pain. That, okay. That's the definition. Without pain. Can, if, you, if I was to take your life when you wanted to live without pain, would that be humane? Yeah, but I'm a human being, you know, I've got a conscience of that. Anyways, you, you have, wait, you have a conscience? Yeah. Like animals have a conscience? Uh, they probably do, yeah. Well, they do. Uh, Science is on our side. It's, it's, it's a different conversation once again. And I think you're right. What, what you're saying and showing is right, but don't like disguise this just to say don't eat meat. That's, if, that's the, if that's the message. If you can prove right. to me that you're buying meat from animals who... I cannot. Who, yeah, I cannot. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't have the time to go and check out how my steak yeah. was like killed and cut and, and 
and maybe I should, you know. Well, the fact that it come from an animal, they wanted to live, and you're robbing their life for, for your taste pleasure. But good on you guys. Go for it. <laughs> you gotta go vegan or your animals are being murdered for you. Apathy.